October 31st, the Earth continues to rotate on its rusty axis. Just like every year, Halloween returns to pay us a visit, and the same every year. I ask myself where people find the energy to celebrate. without finding an answer. Let me introduce myself. My name is Tony Tuff, private investigator in the service of this prestigious agency for many years, as well as a third degree holder in the order of Winks. I've been working here out of the limelight for 10 years now. When a critical case was given to me, I have to stop a mysterious swollen-headed maniac who robs the noisy hordes of children of their candy, and dear me, continues to do so. But tonight will be different. After years of exhausting research and humiliating failures, I believe I am just a step away from the truth. All of this goes far beyond the theft of candy from innocent babes. Careful analysis of the profile and reports by the young victims have convinced me that this involves an alien plot to conquer our planet. The candy is just the point of a huge iceberg. Mine is a solitary fight, shoved to the side and misunderstood. But tonight, I will demonstrate to the world that these are not the ravings of a paranoid private detective. I will show the world who Tony Tuff is, and I will stop this intergalactic scoundrel once and for all. Oh yes, this is my dog, Pantagruel. It's not clear enough? Wow, just like the real ones. I don't like the way she stares at me, but she gives the office a decidedly country feel. And I believe it, all right? Would you quit chewing on that revolting stuff for a minute? No, I said we're not going to the fun fair. Not tonight. Now listen, pup. Before we set about saving the planet, according to the venerable Archibald Wallace Little Privatized Handbook, we really must get ourselves a wig. I quote, A wig is an essential prerequisite for proper investigation of a case. Now, Pantagruel, you take care of the upper floors. I might not be able to concentrate properly with all those people laughing at me. I'll comb the basement. What a good doggy you are! Alright, Tony, let's get to work. A good wig is a first step on the road to success. Tremble in your boots, you treacherous aliens. Pantagruel always leaves his sticky candy lying around. It's full of all kinds of candy. That's out of the question. Great idea, as if it were custom made. It's shaking on rusted out screws. It's part of a brochure. It's not legible, but I think it has something to do with animals or something like that. Ugh, oh, my poor back. Judging from the chaos that reigns down here, it has to have been a long time since the cleaning lady came by. It's the nicest I've ever seen. Big and sturdy. I already have a briefcase, and without that embarrassing sticker, test tubes for urine samples. 
Um, well, if I... And then if... Then... Basically, no. Tony Top Airlines thanks the passengers for having flown with us. The captain and crew wish everyone a pleasant stay. That's Panda Girl Scream, and it's not yet dinner time. I have to go upstairs. My dog might need some help. I definitely did the right thing hiding those spices of bologna in my shoes. A mix of smells won't let those damned alligators smell them. What deep gazes. But then it's all true. That cleaning lady who got lost in the maze of offices at the agency years ago and never came back isn't a legend. Great heavens, I am moved. My palms are sweating. I don't know what to say. Um, that's one small step for man and one giant step for mankind. Panta Gruel, where are you? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Great trophy, Butch. I got it while it was running away. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, everyone. Hey, Dudley, you remember that group therapy we did to ignore our co-workers? Co-workers? We have co-workers? <laughs> <laughs> you don't happen to know any new jokes. Listen to this, tough. What's small, ugly, smelly, and lives in the sewers? <laughs> Your mother? Oh, yeah, sure. Really funny. Uh, Camaro? What could it be? A legendary animal that's small, smelly, and slimy, and lives in dark, putrid places and whose existence still hasn't been officially proven. Sorry, no way. That's not it. Uh, sewer rat? Almost. I'll give you a hint. It wears glasses and a raincoat. <laughs> They're there. One of those disgusting mutant ninja turtles that live in the sewers. Excuse me, Butch. Yes, Dudley? I'm beginning to believe that your theory about some people belonging entirely to the mineral world is correct. <laughs> See you later, guys. Why? You've been invited to the big Halloween ball at the Wallens' mansion? Well... Well, don't count on it, tough. <laughs> 